In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the limits as x goes to infinity of x squared minus 9x plus 8 all over 5x squared minus x. Now, the trick to doing these problems is that when taking the limit to infinity, you divide every term in your function by the highest power of x that appears in your problem. In our case, the highest power of x is x squared. So let's divide every term by x squared. So we're going to get the limit as x goes to infinity of x squared all over x squared minus 9x over x squared plus 8 over x squared all over 5x squared over x squared minus x over x squared. So you can see that I've divided every term by x squared. So the next step is now to simplify this. So let's do that. We'll get the limit as x goes to infinity. x squared divided by x squared will give me 1 minus 9x over x squared will give me 9 over x. 8 over x squared, well there's nothing to be done there, so we'll still get 8 over x squared. And that's all over 5 minus 1 over x. Okay, so we're now in a position to start taking the limit. So I'm going to do that piece by piece. Okay, so if I take the limit of x goes to infinity of 1, well 1 is just a constant, so it's still going to be 1. If I put an infinitely big number in here, so I'll have 9 divided by a really, really big number. So 9 divided by a really, really big number will give me a very small number. So effectively, it'll be 0. So something similar is going to happen here. If I put a really big number in here, square it, I'll have 8 over a really big number, which again will go to 0. On the bottom, there is x goes to infinity of 5 for the limit of a constant, which is the constant, minus. If I put a really big number in here, 1 over a really big number is actually very, very small. So I get my limit to be 1 fifth. So we can say that the limit as x goes to infinity of this function is simply just 1 fifth.